you are arguing with Leon. Yeah. Your figures always get, got smaller and smaller, and Leon's got bigger and bigger, and you got stronger and stronger. Because they're so small, small. yes. <laughs> So here we see all the figures employed in service. <laughs> in service. <laughs> in service. And here we they have... They have to work. Hey, they have to work for a living. <laughs> yeah. Especially the more popular ones, you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 You know, like the acrobat. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the she was a Olympian champion. Oh. Uh, and did, this do was... Do you have favorites? Yeah, those are the ones I use over and over. Yeah. And this one... Originally, I'll tell you, see, a lot of it comes from transformations. Mm -hmm. Like, there was this pose, it was a male tennis player or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I changed, I used that pose, but I, I did it into a very athletic woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I transformed it. And, and this is an athletic woman? Or where, where does yes, she is from? a constant. I would say she's one of my st real yeah. stars. Yeah. And she appears in so many and in so many guises, uh -huh. you know, in, in, in uh, certain pieces. Do you remember where you got, where you found her? Uh, probably a newspaper photo. Uh -huh. yeah. And she was an Olympian uh, champion, yeah. runner. And she was, I think, in the, it was a frontal uh, photograph, and I think in it she was about ready to leap. Uh -huh. But she is one of your very few nudes. That's true. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I don't have too many nudes, do I? In the early 60s, I did a piece called Great Mother. Mm -hmm. And her head, is, she has four breasts, and then wings, no arms, and, and, so, and so her head's profile. And out of her mouth comes a little classical head that mm -hmm. painted. Mm -hmm. And I thought that that represented the first language, speech, mm -hmm. the birth this possible figure of the birth mm -hmm. of speech. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing about the Summer Academy was the students, many of them had been in art schools when they were younger, and uh, the students there were so eager to, to learn and to get some work done. I liked the atmosphere extremely well at the Summer Academy. Just literally, the architecture of the place was huge, open, just wonderful, all flattened out. The whole thing is um, very important to the students and to the faculty. You know, there's a lot of autonomy, too, that um, you can kind of do what you want to do. And it's not academic at all. That is intense, and the students are very eager to uh, get work done, and um, after maybe two and a half weeks, then they choose the work and there's an exhibit. And so it's all pressured, mm -hmm. like mad for all these students and everything. You have been an artist who has been engaged politically, first feminist, but also for peace and freedom in the world. Yeah, we are. Since we the marched. 50s, since sure, the beginning we of marched the against the, the war. And I think you have been punished in your, polit in your artistic career. Of course, of course. Again and again yeah, and again. That's right. The art Leon world Rose. doesn't sanction that. They, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they want something where you look, uh, well, who said this? Um, that, you know, like abstract art and stuff, whatever. He said that people look so beautiful in front of abstract art, so they get it. Mm -hmm. But, and so they buy it, and they, mm -hmm. I guess they, they understand that, that mm -hmm. it, enhances them and their, mm -hmm. yes, especially a fam famous artist, you know. I think your strategy in, in the arts was so good. That means, first of all, to shift from painting, which is an uh, expression of individuality and which addresses from one individual to the other in individual, in another technique and in, in another media, yes, which yes, is yes, more yes, popular yes. and which reaches yes, yes, uh, yes. a bigger audience. And then the figures that you do not reduce the notion of woman to one image, but that you include all kinds of possibilities, that's all exactly, ages, all that's eras. That's exactly so right. That, that you reconstruct the history of women, you bring it to a higher level, mm -hmm. to the level of myths, of goddesses, and so on. <laughs> that 
that means you bring back the history to women. And I think this was understood and this was, uh, this really entered into uh, right, politics right, and into right. society. I know, I think so. I hope well, you are proud about it. Well, I am very, very more than pleased that of your recognition of that aspect. You know, it really was a continuum in my production, you, mm. you see, it, these messages, mm. this me well, actually it was this message, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that really ran right through mm -hmm. and kind of like sewed them all together yeah. like a mm -hmm. necklace or something, but yeah. keeping them all together. And they were only all together because, because I said so. Mm -hmm. You know, I made them and so yeah. there could be all of these things, you know, just at once. And then your artistic power also, the figures are small and they discover and they take over the space. And the space is in art, a wall space or an abstract space, but in reality it's a social space which they take over. Wonderful. Don't forget that, huh? what you're saying, these things.